Welcome to the Do It All Dad Your Podcast, dad-friendly entertainment for you and me. This is season three, episode two, Muslims, Mormons, and Eunuchs. Can I get a holla for my A-plus titles as usual? Holla! It's my impersonation of Oprah Winfrey begging Disney CEO Bob Iger to run against Trump. Disney ABC has never had to file for bankruptcy. It's better that people have no idea what you sound like compared to Michael Eisner. Jamela Hill can write your speeches for Grambling State University. You look more presidential than Trump in a Windsor not. Nobody needs to know you went to Ithaca College, otherwise known as Cornell's retarded next-door neighbor. College record ceiling is no big deal, Bob. Your perfect hair looks less overly pampered than Trump. You'll deny Valerie Jarrett constructed the new gifting deal to Iran as Obama's living Arabian horse whisperer. You allowed Sean Spicer on Dancing with Stars, which shows your bipartisan Dan Liebertard can ask you debate questions instead of Lester Holt, proving you're not a free speech favoring elitist. It's my mom's text in response to videos of her three grandchildren on the piano at the new FEO Schwartz by 30 Rock. Mom's text. Looks like you had a fun day in the city. In other words, I'm all out of pleasant adjectives to describe my happiness for my unemployed son enjoying my three grandchildren without Mimi. Old work bud text. Sorry, just got these texts. Had friends visiting from Colorado. I left you a voicemail about the New York Post reviewing my book, Asshole. Controlling Me Kids a Comedy Love Story. Not to mention the A-plus jokes I've been blessing you with about Hunter Biden that I sent to your LinkedIn mail. And you're a recruiter. <laughs> and that is what you live on. <laughs> So, and my jokes, stop making my jokes, impossible to ignore. You're off the list. If you want to know whether your friends hate you for supporting Trump, text them a Hunter Biden joke about him banging his dead brother's widow. Zero reply means he still watches CNN religiously, like Bill Maher coming down off strong E. Robert De Niro on CNN Looks like he identifies as a fake news tough Betsy Ross falling apart at the seams. This is uh, Robert De Niro melting down on CNN. Impeach Trump, Nancy. His supporters won't watch my movies anymore. Box office projections for the Irishman in Vegas outside of New York don't feel very lucky. This is uh, in Hell's Kitchen. I'm with my kids. I went into an old work associate. With my three kids, uh, without the wife, she had been working the previous night. He, so this is his response. You had a third? Uh, do it all, Dad replies. God loves me more than you, obviously. <laughs> he says, I've been with my partner for four years. And I said, you must be hung like a horse because you're more boring than ever. Blah, blah, breath. <laughs> it's me at the parking garage. On my way leaving the city. So there's uh, this black kid there with his parents and uh, and his sister. And uh, the son, black kid, was sporting a Sixers hoodie. And uh, this is me uh, entertaining this uh, black family from Philly. I said, is the Trump Tower gift shop a – oh, I'm sorry. This is what I said. Uh, did AI – Bet a, that being Allen Iverson, did AI bet a parlay every day for a whole year, <laughs> resulting in AI auctioning off one of his cornrows in China? Ah! Georgetown! And then I made this very clear that I was going to do this joke at the Apollo Theater, but never got around to it. Uh, I didn't really get into the backstory, but I said, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. I'm not feeling lucky. I'm feeling super confident. Very emboldened. I'm going to go for it. After I was riffing before, I said, here you go. Joke I was going to do with the Apollo. Georgetown University. Apologize for slavery. Apologize for not forcing Allen Iverson to retake 
Mo Money Management 101 from two rags to riches. Black Dad and Mom left. Long time. Can I get a holler? But trusting my rock solid comedic instincts that are only getting stronger every day. Holla! This is me at Trump Tower. Got my book in hand. Do it all. Dad does jokes. Hard copy available on Amazon. Bring a copy with me. Figured I'd do some, some marketing. Watch my kids hustle in real time. Inspire them. Show them capitalistic promotional might at its finest. So I said first, at the gift shop in Trump Tower. Doodle Dad says, is the Trump Tower gift shop a safe space for Obama jokes or will I be fined by de Blasio $250,000 for any joke inferring Obama is an illegal alien Muslim from Kenya who bows to sheiks and talks dirty to She-Hulk in perfect Farsi. Can I get a holla for Obama royalty dumpage, but they're obviously not royalty by any stretch of the imagination. Holla! So I ended up uh, giving my book to this guy at the gift shop after doing some jokes, and uh, it was it, it brings me uh, tremendous knockus. That's Yiddish for joy when I'm able to give my book to someone, see them flip through it, and saw like laughing immediately, just from like the titles alone. Uh, considering my headline hooker prowess, I think the uh, one title he was reading was uh, what was the title? Could have been uh, Know Your Role. Uh, could have been know your role, uh, she male, stay at home, she male comedian. Ha! Ah! I love it when I'm able to do these laugh out louds at my material when I even know when the punchline's coming. I think it's a very, it's a very solid testament of, uh, enduring material. That's not going to be unfunny anytime soon. So, yeah, when I was in Trump Tower, it wasn't as big as I remember it. For, like as a kid, I've been there since I was a kid. But it was it, it was cool to point out the escalator that Trump went down before he made his announcement. How fast times changed. So he was like the king of the city before. And now, you know, people want nothing to do with him. Pathetic. The so uh, this is me. Uh, it's a conversation I had with my wife. Uh, she's I'm in the car with her. And my nurse wife says, uh, no husbands drink after the kids are born in the hospital. She works as a nurse, in labor and delivery, and in the NICU. And I said, so I'm the only dad in three years who drank high-end bourbon at your hospital to celebrate unplanned parenthood. <laughs> Other dads there are Muslims, Mormons, and eunuchs. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, so this is me... Uh, talking to that old work associate again from uh, Robert Half. You had a third? Yeah, uh, a new automatic fan of me. The misery. But you're still recruiting, right? Working as a professional parasite for hire? My kids would have hung up on you already. Did I already tell you I wrote two books? <laughs> no, it's really amazing. I'll tell my wife today. Like, there's a song by uh, Bob Seger. Still the same. I played that every time I... Got a new blog we posted on the uh, Good Man Project uh, last year, that uh, January and February when the hits just kept on coming. But it's so true. Like this guy was always weird and awkward and like weird awkward. Like weird could be cool, but like weird awkward, annoying, blah brains. And he just like looked older and like more uninspired and like depressing to be around than ever. And, 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 like, pretentious? Like, you're a recruiter. So, <laughs> I basically hate all the recruiters I used to work with. <laughs> no, this is, that's not true. I love Eric Newman, although he's no longer involved in the crewman business. So, And uh, he gave me many shots. And, and Larry. I do love Larry. Larry uh, used to let me uh, do uh, stand-up uh, in the office. And uh, he's always been very encouraging. So I love you, Larry. Love you, Newman. And, and my old boss, Stan. He let me do stand-up, too. I had Robert Half, which wasn't 
that that's like the evil empire. Everyone's dressed up in a suit. So uh, that was pretty cool of him. Uh, so thank you, Dan. I love you for that. You really do. Especially when I got laughs with Robert Half. So uh, this is the uh, the Do It All Dad Your podcast. Uh, dad friendly entertainment for you and me. Uh, controlling our kids with comedy uh, can make our kids great again. Uh, better than Booby, the first father son dish review show. Just wrapped up episode two. <laughs> it will be uploaded on YouTube later today. Something to look forward to. And I just want to tell all of like my fans and listeners that uh, thank you for you know encouraging me to uh, stick with my podcast. Not that I was ever planning on abandoning altogether, but you know it doesn't bolden me. It doesn't power me. It keeps my performing chops sharp and it's a great showcase to you know share uh my jokes that i take a lot of pride in uh so thank you for uh your sustained interest and i'll continue to uh impress and exceed uh your expectations because i live to Make the most of my potential and make my children proud and eventually capitalize upon all of the tsunami of funny that I've been generating for your entertaining behalf. Uh, on an end note, uh, this is my impersonation of Bernie Sanders joining the October debate after his health scare. My stents in my heart were made in Switzerland. So was my pacemaker. Crowd laughs. What? The Swiss got a firm grasp on making sterling, exacting timepieces any German at BMW would wear. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon.